Welcome back everyone. The storm tracker out and about. I really don't know where the storm tracker is, but I love that the horses are wondering what in the world is going on. At least they've got some calm weather to uh, enjoy here for the next few days. Our storm tracker too. Here's what I want to talk about. Rainfall. Oh, it feels like it's rained all month and really it has. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. The first full week of the month we've had at least measurable or traces of rain every day. We've had a break the last two days and we'll have a break into the weekend, but it is going to return. Monthly rainfall so far. This is kind of interesting and of course when I needed to come up, it's not coming up. There we go. We have received about half of an inch over for the month, but that means we are right on track for where we should be for the year. So yesterday my husband called me and said, hey, I looked at your app and it says we're still in drought conditions. And I said, well, we were really dry. So the rain that we picked up at the end of April into now, I mean, we needed it. But yes, drought like conditions still persist throughout the southern part of Missouri, the northern part of Arkansas. And if you notice towards West Plains, between West Plains and Melbourne, just our extreme eastern counties, they are still very dry. I mean, we're talking severe drought conditions through parts of those counties. So we've got more rain on the way, so don't you worry, but at least we can enjoy dry conditions today for your Saturday, Sunday, most of the day. I think the rain will return late and then into Monday and Tuesday. It's going to be a full day of rain so much so that the QPF puts us at, you know, an inch or more as we look at rainfall for the next seven days. So nice little break but we have more on our way. Satellite and radar, clear conditions, just a little bit of cloud coverage still hanging around Lake of the Ozarks and up to the north. This tower cam shimmy shaking, getting a workout 66 degrees and those winds out of the north at 18 miles per hour. So that's why we're seeing so much movement with that. It's breezy. I guess I haven't walked around the building yet today to see just how breezy it is. Right now, temperatures mid 60s across the area. We are going to warm into the low 70s, so it's going to be a cooler day, a little bit below low average overnight. Open the windows. <laughs> we are going to be in the low 50s. Very, very comfortable, almost crisp as you wake up for your Saturday morning and for Saturday mid 70s across the area. So a beautiful day on Saturday and then we've got Mother's Day. I think you can make outdoor plans easily on Mother's Day. The chance of rain will return later in the day. We're looking at 58 early 75 by noon and by 4 p.m. about 78 degrees. So the Mother's Day forecast is much warmer than any other day throughout our weekend forecast. So not bad at all. I'm kind of excited about such a nice day. Then the next storm. This is what will bring us our rainmaker as we head into Monday. Our seven day forecast. We are looking at uh, temperatures. 70s throughout, so we're not getting too warm here, which I am okay with. And then we are going to drop into the 50s overnight with that chance of rain and scattered rain throughout next week for most of the week. All right, Natalie, thanks.